So with our boom, um, every time I sail, just checking here, make sure this rope's still in good shape. It's not worn. Um, it's solely in the cleat. What we're trying to achieve here is to get this mast on, uh, clamp on as tight as we can uh, without crushing the mast. So quite simply, this just slides on around the back here. Make sure there's no twists. Pull that through, hook it on. Make sure your outhaul is well away so that when we clamp, it's not caught under there and pulling up. Uh, I've got my boom marked. Uh, I'm 175 centimetres tall. Uh, I'll run my boom relatively low compared to most, but uh, the bottom of my boom is slightly above the third mark that you'll see on the uh, on the mast itself. Okay, so that's that's one of the gross adjustments we've got on the LT is the length of the boom. Um, this is a pro limit boom which is exactly the same as as the windsurfer booms that are, uh, are coming with the boards now this is just an older one uh, with a range of adjustment um, you're going to see guys running their boom from anywhere on the adjustment mechanism here from 35 out to 40 okay that that's the that's the i guess uh sweet spot in terms of the boom length uh, i run mine on 40 uh, but when it's fully outhauled in its normal position, that's equivalent of about the 35 fully outhauled. So, uh, you've got a couple of different adjustment options here. Uh, cleat on one side, pulleys on both. Uh, because, because of the way the, the sail is, you certainly don't need um, all the pulleys to come into play. So, what I do is I start... Um, on the on the right hand side here and we just keep threading so that we don't cross so up and around back through oops out the top back so that's job one then come back over the top making sure you don't cross and into the cleat now I've spent quite a bit of time mucking around with outhaul settings one of the key things with this sail is that it's not like a modern windsurfer sail that operates under high tension much more like a traditional sailboat sail so uh, outhaul setting and downhaul setting is crucial one thing is for sure Many people tend to over outhaul and over downhaul, sail the sail too flat. This sail works particularly well without a lot of downhaul and certainly without a lot of outhaul as well. So um, one thing I'll say when we've got this thing all set up is just look at your sail, keep thinking about I want power and I don't want this thing flat and like a board, it will not work. So I'm just gonna outhaul this to my light wind setting which I've got marked. Um, you'll see it here. So I'm just gonna go back in fractionally and cleat that off. That's basically a, a setting that I use from zero knots to about 20 knots. Uh, as breeze comes on beyond that, I'll start to crank that out a little bit more. I could move my boom in um, to shorten it up so there's not so much uh, over the overhang here but uh, I found that that just gives me a little bit more uh, adjustability if I need it and so the outhaul is bending the mast which now we're going to go and deal with our downhaul um, the key to remember here is don't over downhaul the sail we don't want uh, wrinkles coming down the luff we need uh, we need wrinkles this way which is uh, from uh, downhaul not being applied so I'm just going to take that up a little bit basically what we're going to do firstly is to take the slack out of this and not much more okay so if you're looking at settings on this mast uh, we're, we're at about four at the moment obviously the age of the sail the stretch how much it's been stretched um, will have an impact on that but that's a very very coarse uh, outhaul setting that uh, I'm going to use and that's really what I go racing with you'll see here you still got 
a whole heap of depth in the sail. The sail will be touching the inside of the boom and as it gets loaded up, as it pulls back, will touch even more and you'll start to see here a tiny bit of looseness come into the uh, mast pocket area. But we're sailing really full, batten, tensioned up. Taking all the wrinkles out, obviously, um, and trying to push some depth into the top of the sail. Really, really full. These sails are small, and you need the power that uh, that you can get out of it. Um, in particular, for sailing downwind, having depth, especially as a larger gentleman, is uh, very important for me. But you'll see all the good guys are sailing with their and girls are sailing with their rigs. Really quite, really quite full. Okay, so we'll just uh, finally get our up all on and now let's just pick up the rig 